Hello athletes and fans of bodybuilding. My name is Tara Kelgindi with the Mr. Olympia. This past weekend, we had one of the most iconic historical events in our NPC and IFBB Pro League, the Pittsburgh Pro, which is the home of the NPC and the IFBB Pro League. We had six competitors going to the Mr. Olympia. The first one is this German newcomer by the name of Alexander Westermeyer. When you look at his physique, we can see that on his back double biceps, this athlete presented tremendous conditioning. Also, he has the space to grow. So this is an athlete for us to look for the next couple years to see how he develops. We already have great German competitors, so this might be one to watch. On the wellness division, Sunny Andrews conquers uh, the title. She was right there on the first call out of the Mr. Olympia, and she has great physique, great personality, great presentation. Uh, you can see her energy on stage, and she conquers this event, which is a statement for her. And now we need to see what she can do or improve for the Mr. Olympia. Now we have the women's physique. In the women's physique is very simple. The winner of the Mr. Olympia is Sarah Villegas. And the person who's behind her, who just won the Pittsburgh Pro, is none other than Natalia Coelho. Yes, Natalia has an unbelievable physique. She has the conditioning. But there was one thing that many of us have mentioned, which was the quads. It looks like Natalia is finally fixing this issue. And she might be heading to Las Vegas in December to compete against Sarah with some new ammunition. Natalia versus Sarah. I am not missing this battle for anything in the world. Moving on to the men's physique division. We had a familiar face coming back to the stage. Yes, Sadiq came back and he presented maybe his best physique ever. When you look at his physique and the separation on his shoulders, chest and abs, this seems to be the best we've ever seen from this competitor and it looks like muscle maturity has finally come. Nobody would be surprised if this athlete who placed second in the Mr. Olympia is now back to win the title. Let's talk about the figure division and we have an amazing competitor, Shanice Abrams. Tall with a very athletic physique. She will be challenging Sydney Gillen. Now both of them have small waists. One of the great things about Sydney Gillen is that X frame. And it looks like Shanice has that. And she might be a little bit bigger, a little bit taller. This is a battle to watch at the 2022 Mr. Olympia. And then if we could ever have a preview of what will happen in the Mr. Olympia, it was the bikini division. We had some of the most amazing athletes coming in and competing in this class. Let's start with Ashley Kowasser, who continues to get better every single show. Yes, the three-time Miss Olympia bikini winner is back winning regional shows everywhere in America, and now she comes back to Pittsburgh and places second. And then we have Janet Leo, who presented one of her best physiques. The separation between glutes and hamstrings was there and she might be peaking at the Mr. Olympia. Now remember, the last time this competitor stepped on the Mr. Olympia stage, she was the last woman standing. Unanimous decision. Do not be surprised if Janet takes it. Another competitor who really surprised the entire world was number fourth, Liana, who was a second time competitor in a pro show. This competitor came out of nowhere to let everybody in the world, I am one of the best. I did my research and this girl has a tremendous physique. She poses with confidence and she can very well be on that first call out at the Olympia because she just faced some of the best competitors at the Olympia stage. The winner is Laura Lee Chapados. She's been winning everything, everywhere she goes. And winning the Pittsburgh Pro is a clear message to Jennifer Dory. I am coming for the title. Well, let's talk about the guest posing. Very, very controversial guest posing. Brandon Curry was there. 
His physique was very good. Nick Walker was there. His physique was massive as always. Hunter Labrada was there and the waist is small and he looks incredibly good going into the Mr. Olympia. But the talk of the town was Derek Lunsford. Derek Lunsford, former Mr. USA. When he won the light heavy, he went straight to the Tampa Pro and conquered his qualification. After a few years missing his conditioning, he connects with Hani Rambod and wins the 212. His large clavicle bones, combined with flaring quads, indicate this competitor might go to the open division. And if that happens, my friend, we might see history. We might see something we've never expected because Derek, with great conditioning, with Hani Rambod behind him, they can do something special. This is Terry Kelgindi with the Mr. Olympia. I will see you next week. Wow. <laughs>